Hi, I'm Connie and this is my wife, Catherine. With the help of my parents, Connie and Dave, and our littlest helper, Simon, we're renovating our 1968 Playmore Model 140 at our home in Wichita, Kansas. Hi. Can we turn this trailer trash into treasure, one project at a time? Follow along to find out. Yeah, looks cute. Hoochie Coochie. Way down on the Chattahoochee. Is that how it goes? Yes. Well, way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, it gets hotter than a Hoochie Coochie. So I'm going to try to do the wheel wells that I said I was going to do yesterday, I think. So I'm going to try to get these wheel wells put back together. than it did before not quite as high up on this piece um, but high enough for uh, there to be butyl tape all around here so I'm not really concerned about that uh, and honestly it's mostly decorative anyway you always have to remember water goes down not up but of course you know you've got a wheel spinning here so you're gonna get some splash up from that uh, but again water splashing onto this, even when you're going down the highway, is not water under pressure. It's not necessarily going to force its way in there. And uh, so really what you need to consider around here is a way for water to get back out uh, and not get trapped up into the bottom. Which was kind of why I did a little extra work on these parts, because I didn't want water getting into the body in the first place. Uh, but I think we're good on that. Okay. Moved over to the passenger side, and I'm going to do the same thing with the wheel well over here. Pry these back, put a little flashing up under that edge, and then I'm going to uh, put the trim back in. Okay, so uh, just cleaning up some of the areas that needed patched so that we can get ready to put some primer on this. I've already cut away all the butyl tape that had squeezed out around uh, the roof rail and on the front and back there were some little trim pieces. Added those and cleaned them up. Uh, I had to make a little bit of room for the window to fit back in so I could make sure that these would fit in their places, which they do. Oh, and of course I uh, put the wheel wells back in place earlier this morning. Uh, finished the last one of those, so um, pretty much ready for paint. 
we're just going to use rattle cans for this. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive. You don't have to worry about cleaning up much afterwards. When I painted our last camper, I used rattle cans for the primer coat. Uh, did a couple of coats, two or three coats, I can't remember how many. Um, but after the primer was down, I, I did actually use an air sprayer to uh, do the top coat. And that's held up pretty well for three years or so of, um, you know, pretty constant use and uh, being outside almost all the time. So. so I'll go get the primer. Uh, tomorrow morning is supposed to be pretty clear and not too blazing hot like it was today. So I'll try to get as much primed as possible before any chance of rain in the afternoon. And um, hopefully tomorrow you'll be looking at a white camper. Okay, so I've taped off three of the sides. Uh, I've left the side with the door open for now, uh, in case I need to get back in there. But yeah, we're gonna be painting it today using Ace Premium Primer. I've used this before on campers and it works pretty well. And then this little thing will save your thumb. You gotta get one that fits your spray can and kind of clips on there and then let you do nice even back and forth. Uh, of course, you want a nozzle that has a fan, not a cone kind of spray. And then you spray it this way, come back overlap it, so on and so forth. And uh, your first coat can be pretty light. You don't need to put this on heavy. It dries quickly, you build it up successive coats until you get a nice smooth finish, hopefully. <laughs> So let's see how this does. So there you have it. One coat on the kind of backside. So yeah, four cans of primer to do the backside. I'm not too surprised by that. Uh, part of what I like about the cheap Ace primer is that it is thin, and so you have to do quite a few coats, uh, which means you cover up some of your mistakes and uh, uh, your bad passes and whatnot. Uh, but uh, I don't know why I thought last time I did the whole camper with eight cans. Uh, I think I'm gonna need 16 cans, should have bought a case, I guess. Uh, that's okay, I'll go pick up some more. Uh, but, moving right along. Okay, so we changed location a bit here. It was getting too sunny on the patio, so now we're back here in a little more shade. But uh, looking pretty good so far. All right, three sides down. So far, it's only taken 17 cans. I'm gonna turn it now, and uh, we'll see if we can't see how far we can get on the. Um, on the passenger side. All right, that's it. All four sides painted. Tomorrow I'll do the roof. Okay, 
I think I can get the whole roof with the um, through the skylight and with the uh, with the ladder. Uh, it'll involve a little bit of stretching. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get some more paint and um, get this done. All right, so how quickly things change. So in the time it took to go and get the paint, the camper's now in basically full sun and it is basically high noon. I'm gonna move the camper into the backyard, back in the back of the yard where it's a little bit shadier. All right, well, simple matter of uh, getting on the ladder and painting it now. Sometimes when it's hot, it's just hard to get started, you know? Think about this lifestyle. A lot of people call it unemployment. Um, time has no meaning. <sighs> Alright, I think that's done. I think it looks pretty sharp. Okay, so we've got our colors picked. We just don't know exactly what order we're going to put them on the camper. So we're going to figure that out next. Uh, we're thinking uh, this uh, weekend, the dark green, kind of greeny blue, is going to be on the bottom. And we're going to have the, um, uh, the hitch and everything else is going to be that same color as well. So uh, we're going to sort out the order that those colors go in, and then we're going to get back to this maybe this weekend, maybe Monday. This thing's going to look like a brand new camper, or at least a brand new paint job on an old camper. And I keep thinking I should say something about the fact that, you know, we're putting all this trouble into this old camper, but we're leaving the skin old. So you're, you've got a brand new camper, but it's going to look old. Yeah, it's going to look old, and, you know, it is old, so it should wear some of the uh, uh, scars of, you know, 50 years of outdoor life, uh, 50 years of vacations and camping and everything else. So, uh, you know, putting the time and effort into doing the paint job, um, you know, you're kind of wrapping something that's old in something new, and it really uh, brings it back to life, it makes it look cared for. So, I'm gonna pull this thing back over in the sun and. Uh, do that now, I guess.